Explain GTO. Discuss operation and characteristics of GTO. In previous section, we discussed about the gate triggering circuits. Now let us discuss the constructional features of a GTO. GTO is a four-layer three-junction PNPN device. To obtain high emitter efficiency at the cathode end, the N plus cathode layer is highly doped. The P-type gate region has conflicting doping requirement. The junction between the N-base and P-plus anode or J1 is called the anode junction. Thus, the gate's turn-off thyristor is a four-layer PNPN power semiconductor switching device that can be turned on by a short pulse of gate current and can be turned off by a reverse gate pulse. Now, let's discuss about current distribution in GTO. The PNPN structure of a GTO consists of one PNP and one NPN transistor connected in the regenerative configuration. The current flow direction during turn-on time is represented as the current flow direction during turn-off time is represented as. Now let's discuss the switching characteristics of GTO. The switching characteristics of a GTO refers to the resistive DC load switching circuit, which is represented as. When the GTO is off, the anode current is zero and VAK becomes equal to VD. To turn on the GTO, a positive gate current pulse is injected through the gate terminal. There is a delay between the application of the gate pulse and the fall of anode voltage, which is called as turn on delay time TD. After this time, the anode voltage starts falling while the anode current starts rising towards its steady value I1. For time interval TR, they reach 10% of their initial value and 90% of their final value, respectively. TR is called rise time. A minimum on time period T on is required for anode current conduction in the GTO. This time is also necessary for the GTO to be able to turn off its anode current. The related term is 